My name is Alicia Velasquez, and I have three children. I have one girl and two boys. So my name is Ann Herman. We have two boys. Um, I'm Melissa Fiore, and I have four kids. What I love about being a mom is seeing a bigger picture about life. I love the fact that I think, for the most part, my kids enjoy spending time with me. I get calls constantly. My husband is like, do they know my phone number? And I'm like, they do, babe, they do. But I'm, I'm mom. <laughs> it is the most sacred calling to be a mother. And like when they're in this season of like really like being dependent upon me to like go after their, their dreams and they don't really have anyone else to help facilitate that. Like it is my joy to sacrifice and to be present for them in those things that they're doing. I've had to learn to let go of those things as well, to um, lay down my life for them. My kids know that there's nothing that they can do that would make me not love them. My advice for moms out there would be to pull away from all of the outside influences that are making you feel like you have to be a certain way and press into the truth of the Lord who is going to reassure you of who you are in Him. It doesn't have to look like how the world looks. In fact, it shouldn't look how the world looks. Um, the abundance is found in Him. So don't spend your effort trying to look like the world, spend your effort trying to look like Jesus to your kids. If I could give a mom some advice, it would be prayer rules. It would be hold on. Life is a roller coaster and it is seasonal. You've got to slow down the good times and hold on really tightly and pray during the hard times. There will be moments where you're doubting your ability to <laughs> be the right person for that child through what they're going through. But God didn't make an accident. He, he, didn't, he didn't make a mistake by placing that child in your hands and asking you to steward them. Okay, we have something for you. Oh, okay. Okay, um, oh, hi mom, if you're seeing this, or when you see this, but um, just a few things that I'm grateful for for you in my life. You've taught me so much. You've taught me how to rely on myself, how to rely on the Lord, and you've been by my side through every trial and tribulation I've had in this life. Hi, Mama. I love you. You teach me how God is so important to us. I feel like you have so much knowledge. I'm just so happy that you can teach me everything that you've learned because I really take it to heart, and it's really important. What's your favorite thing about your mom? I, I would have to say just how driven she is and just how passionate she is about the things that she does. You always encourage me to be the bigger person, to be the kinder person, to live like Jesus did. She's a shining example of, of, of how to live redeemed. I'm so thankful for my mom, and I'm really, really, really thankful that she helps me with my school, and that's like really nice of her. And she cooks for us and like amazing dinners. You're my main support in life, and I just want you to know that you are the most amazing mother ever, and I'm so happy that I get to be, I was chosen to be your daughter. So I want to say thank you, and happy Mother's Day, and I love you, and I'll be home soon. How did that make you feel? So happy. I, I mean, that's my baby girl. I love her so much. I'm just really blessed to have some really amazing kids. They're, <laughs> they're my world. Yeah. You know, you try really hard as a parent, and you wait for these moments where they're adultish um, <laughs> and um, and to hear, you know, like it worked, it, it was good. So that's great. It just lets me know that the grace of Jesus covers everything. And I don't have to be perfect because he is. It's an example of restoration when we haven't done it right and that he covers that for us. And for that, I'm truly grateful.